Welcome, everyone. I'm Nate Persley. I am uh, one of the new co-directors of the Stanford Cyber Policy Center, along with uh, Dan Bonet here to my right. Uh, it's wonderful to see everybody here today uh, for what we hope is the launch of something unique here at Stanford, an attempt to bring together the diverse members of the Stanford community who are all thinking about the important questions of democracy, technology, and security. Uh, this center was long in the making, uh, coming out of the Hewlett Cyber Initiative uh, that has been uh, funding programs here at Stanford in these areas for several years now. Uh, so we're grateful for the Hewlett Foundation for all of its support, uh, both for this program and uh, the research that we've conducted here. I sort of wanted to, to start with, like, almost, uh, I don't know, I got allegory for this center, which is, you know, a former diplomat a computer scientist and a lawyer walk into a bar, right? And out of that comes the Stanford Cyber Policy Center. You can decide which of us is which uh, based on how we're dressed today. Um, uh, by the end of this launch, I will be in a hoodie and Dan will be wearing a suit. Uh, but we're, we're thrilled that uh, everybody could come here today to see what we've been working on. Uh, and today's events really are a testament to the kind of research we hope to uh, propagate here at Stanford, which is interdisciplinary research, which brings together all of the sort of relevant talent that we have here at Stanford working at the intersection of these important issues. And so instead of just being an area where, say, computer scientists are asking the technical questions or where law professors are thinking about, say, you know, human rights implications or regulation, uh, or uh, political scientists are thinking about the political implications of new technologies. We're trying to stitch together uh, the relevant groups here at Stanford that are working uh, in these areas. Um, what you'll hear today is, in the morning, we're going to talk about um, the and present the first piece of research that we think is going to be emblematic of the effort here at Stanford, which is a paper, uh, a set of white papers on securing American elections uh, for 2020 and beyond. And uh, then in the afternoon, each one of the program heads that comprises the Stanford Cyber Policy Center is going to talk about the work that's happening in each one of those programs. And so we have a, a jam-packed day, as we uh, often do here in this room when we present uh, Stanford research. And so I look forward to the discussion. With that, I'll turn it over to my co-conspirator here, right. Dan Bonet. Yeah, thanks, Nate. All right, so like Nate said, you can pretty much tell who's the computer scientist and uh, who's, who's the lawyer and, and so on. Uh, so yeah, so uh, the reason I went into computer science is so I'll never have, have to wear a suit. Uh, and so yeah, you'll, you'll never see me in a suit. <laughs> Um, great. Uh, so I'm really excited about this, uh, this center, the new Cyber Policy Center. It's a re really a true inter interdisciplinary effort. Uh, it takes both the technologists uh, from you know, the engineering side of campus, the policy folks from the, uh, you know, the, the other side of campus uh, working together. So I'm really excited to see, to see what's going to come out of this. Uh, it's been a, a bit of a long path to get here. Uh, this, this started, of course, with the Hewlett Foundation grant, so we're very grateful for, uh, for Hewlett uh, for sort of putting a huge spotlight on this area, this cyber policy uh, area. It start, so the Hewlett started with the Cyber Initiative, it became the Stanford Cyber Initiative, uh, and then now it's morphing into this uh, Cyber Policy Center. So we tried a lot of different combinations until we, find one, we found one that works, and I think this is now going to really take off and, um, and sort, of ex sort of explode. So you're going to see uh, a, lot of, a lot of publications, a lot of blog posts, a lot of op-eds coming, coming out of the center. It'll be very visible, and that's, uh, that will be the sign of, of success. So the center itself is going to be housed in Encina, fourth floor of Encina. So come visit us, you know, come join us. Um, there's a beautiful space over there. Yeah, so there'll be, uh, like I said, events and talks organized and so on. So yeah, please come join the, the, cyber, uh, the cyber Policy Center uh, events and come visit in general. The center itself is made up of uh, four programs initially, but the plan is to sort of grow as uh, time goes by. So if you have an idea for um, a program that should be added to the center, again, please come talk to us. We're very open to, uh, to obviously exploring new ideas. I thought I'd, I'd quickly go through the four programs now. You're going to hear much more about this later, uh, later in the day. Uh, so the first one is uh, the democracy program, uh, so headed by uh, Nate, Nate Persily, walking into the 2020 election. There's obviously going to be a huge amount of interest in this, so you're going to have a busy time ahead, uh, Nate. So thank you for, for heading that. 
uh, Alex Stamus is going to be heading the observatory uh, that's going to be collecting information uh, from uh, various parts of the internet to support uh, policy research that's going to be done in the center. Uh, Andy Grotto is going to be heading the, uh, what I would call the standard, the, the sort of more um, mainstream security policy initiative. Uh, I guess it's called uh, Center for Geopolitics. And, um, and so on, you'll hear more about that too. So that uh, obviously security policy is a pretty active area. There's a lot more to be done there. The encryption debate is uh, still with us. Uh, there are a lot of geopolitical questions to address. So again, I'm looking forward to seeing all the research coming out of that uh, program. And then GDPI uh, had, headed by Larry Dam Diamond, which you're gonna hear about later today. So uh, yeah, so as I said, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all the output coming out of the programs. Uh, and yeah, the center is constantly hiring. If you want to join, you know, please let us know. And uh, yeah, with that, uh, let's kick off the technical program.